What's going on guys? Welcome to National Hockey Card Day. So by the LCS, owner was kind enough to give me three packs here. Technically, they're only supposed to give you one as far as I'm aware, but he gave me three. Uh, so we're going to open these up today to talk about those a little bit. Uh, on April 15th, at least when I'm recording this, it's National Hockey Card Day. Probably isn't by the time I get this edited and put out, but that's all right. And we're also going to open up our second box of 21-22 Synergy. National Hockey Card Day, you have to open something other than just free packs. Can't be that guy who strolls into the LCS and only gets a free pack, you know what I mean? I thought it was going to another box of SPX after that horrific SPS box that I will say sold all my cards out of that box $27 Canadian return on a $160 box pretty pathetic if you can find a worse box hit me up I'd love to see it but I think I I think I'm the best of the worst on that one and guess what Upper Deck does not care that that box was terrible and had only one hit they don't they won't get back to me they don't care so that's fun anyway that's what it is so we'll do a box of Synergy like I said I couldn't bring myself to do SPX so we'll just do some Synergy I went with a cheaper hobby box just because uh, this Wednesday uh, SPA SP Authentic Fund that comes out and definitely need to grab a box of that and that's going to be like a $300 box, save some money for that. So we'll look at these first here. So yeah, 2023 National Hockey Days. You get five cards per pack. Uh, they don't list any of the odds or anything on the back here. It just has, you know, find out more info. But uh, there are autographs in here. There's six cards in the checklist. Alex Tuck, David Perron, JT Miller, Joe Kabelski, Slavkowski, and Shane Wright. So obviously Slavkowski and Shane Wright are the ones you're looking for. So no idea how hard it is to pull those. Probably pretty hard. And then uh, if you spent 10 bucks or more, this is a little thing you got there, the rookie moment. So pretty much everybody will get that. It's pretty easy almost impossible to not spend 10 bucks at the LCS these days so pretty cool little thing they give you there the Maddie, the rookie moments Matty Berniers yeah so we're looking for an autograph card here uh, other than that there's 32 card base set nothing too crazy uh, prominent rookies hockey superstars legends on ice and the checklist card in here and then there's some inserts of mascots and things like that so so prominent rookies Matt Boldy there again the rarity of these I it's pretty much the uh, the autographs are the rare things in here so in you know, most sets ooh, cool hit us live Koski, that's awesome but in this set you know is what it is so there's a checklist so it says 32 cards but oh I see it's 31 cards because the uh, rookie moments card that's on the checklist is sort of not because you just get it for going there so technically a 31 card checklist when you remove that one so pretty much just looking for the autos there the standard cards it's got Tamo Solani in the Jets uniform love that that's you, superstars. So yeah, so there's legends uh, split up into superstars, rookie superstars, and legends. So you see all three of them: Nick Sanderson, Stevie Y. The checklist you probably might most likely get a checklist in every pack. And so technically, you're only supposed to get one per customer. So looks like we're gonna miss on the auto here. Dylan Hallway rookie. We'll take that as a hallway. Or the collector hallway collector. Hit McDavid and hallway. Happy with that. Uh, yeah, no autos. I like, again, I have no idea how hard they are to hit, but uh, would have been, been cool, but. There you go. So there's a hockey day cards. Now we'll do our synergy box. And if you're looking for the in-depth review of synergy, I did a much more in-depth video the day I opened synergy on opening day or uh, on release day, I should say. You can go back and check that video out. Uh, that box is really nothing special. I don't think I really hit anything too interesting in that box. So synergy hasn't been very good to me. 2020, 21, especially bad. My box of 2021 was absolutely atrocious. I had like three or four packs that only had two cards in them instead of three. So missing cards, missing hits. It was just a disaster. So we'll see how this one goes here. But uh, in this box or in any hobby box of synergy, we'll get an eight, eight base red parallels so pretty much one of those per pack three synergy fx inserts five inserts of either star of the show roaring 20s or postseason brilliance four inserts which are exceptional stars phenoms and our futures and three inserts of rookie journey and our synergistic duos so the relic autos or like the patch autos are definitely the ones we're looking for here 2021 rookie class Caulfield Byfield Cider Zegers those guys what we're looking for so guys we all know and love and I would really love to pull one of the metal cards the cast for greatness cards I've never pulled one of those out of synergy so that would be a nice one, nice thing to pull so Matthew to check of course had a good season on uh, made the playoffs can play Boston I think they're they're gonna have a rough go in the first round so there's freaking Brad the exceptional stars that's numbered to 899 so super high number one and then a uh 80 of 99, rookie journey parallel of Dawson Mercer. So uh, a couple weeks ago, had a hat trick there. So, I mean, he's on a good team and having a decent second year. So Mercer on a fairly little numbered card. That's a cool looking card too, actually. So not bad. That's one of the better synergy cards I've hit. We'll take it. So I've never really hit anything too outstanding in synergy. Uh, just numbered cards. I don't even know if I've hit a materials card out of synergy either. So just Sturkin on the parallel. These are bounty cards as well there. So they're probably, I'm assuming at this point, all taken. Uh, that's a nice card there. So it's Phenoms of Nick Suzuki. 113 of 199. It's an acetate card. Not bad at all. And then the synergistic duos of Harry Price and Patrick Roywa. Patty Waugh there. So number that's uh, 297 to 399. So not a bad card either there. So Patty Waugh. Two, two great Montreal goalies. Unfortunately, uh, Carey Price. Didn't like the way his career appears to be ending. 
All right, so we got Ryan O'Reilly. Maple Leaf now, of course. I am not a Leafs fan, but man, I hope they make it past the first round. You know, it's so fun to give people crap about it, give the fans crap about it, but they, they need to get out of the first round. There we go. So we got an FX rookie card of Brandon Duhame, number to 603 of 749, nothing too special. And then you got the stars of the show, basic insert of Maddie Barzal there. The Islanders squeaked into the playoffs. So there's eight packs, by the way, in a box of Synergy. Just three cards, as you've seen. Definitely would not be a product I would buy single packs of, for sure. So Taylor Hall, the parallel, non-bounty. Uh, it's funny that these are like way easier to hit the base cards in this. One of those sets where the base cards are actually really hard to hit, so... Riley Demonte on the 405 of 499 exceptional futures. And then we got a Braden Point postseason brilliance. Again, if tr hopefully for Toronto's sake, he doesn't have any postseason brilliance this year. My wife's entire family is Toronto fans, so it is fun to dunk on them sometimes when they lose, but I die. Anyway, Ross Colton, rookie parallel there. Hold his card. One of my crappy SPX card was uh, a parallel of his that I got $3 for. So there's that. There's a Byfield. So rookie FX, 7 of 749. A little numbered there, nothing special. These cards really don't have a ton of value. And then a Roaring Twenties of Sveshnikov there, Svetch. So, so far, nothing too crazy in this box. Clayton Keller, probably one of the more underrated players in the NHL. Had a good season on a terrible, terrible team. There's a bounty parallel, and then you got uh, Jonathan Huberdeau, 24 of 9.99. Had a bad season. Flames missed the playoffs, but just missed. And then a Roaring Twenties, Quinn Hughes. All right, final two packs. I suppose something interesting. So far, nothing too, especially there's a Lanny McDonald classic. Great stash, great helmet. Oh, we finally got an autograph there. So we got a Jacob Bryson auto 250. That's yes, we hit an autos. That's nice. So technically we've had two out of our three uh, boxes have had an auto in it. So Jacob Bryson there, sticker auto again. But not bad. Always happy to hit an autograph. JB there. And then Joe Pavelski and this Riley Demaney guy. This, this guy apparently just needs to be a friggin' stud because... Uh, all right, so we get some last pack mojo here, though we have our hit for the box there. So, Jamie Drysdale, rookie parallel, non-bounty card, and then Matthew Tuchuk. I pull a ton of Tuchuk. I don't know what it is, but I always pull him. So, Tuchuk, of course, out in Florida, like I mentioned, so 428 to 749, and then he starts with the show Pasternak, 50-goal scorer there. Boston should make a deep run. We'll see how it goes. So there we go. We'll do a roundup of the National Hockey Day cards. You know, just whatever. Uh, but okay, so for some reason, I was confusing Brandon Duhame and Riley Demane. It's being out of my brain, just sort of spaced on that one. So we got two Demane cards and one Brandon Duhame card. So not as crazy as I thought it was. So so the Synergistic Duels numbered card. Then we got a Quentin Byfield, good rookie. Uh, I hope he does terrible against the others in the first round. I hope he chokes. And then, yes, yeah, so the two Demane cards. Uh, I don't have the Brandon Demane. I didn't. Pull the Duhame card, but anyway, this is a nice card here. The to 399 of two of the two best goalies to ever do it, and then uh, 113 to 199 of it, Nick Suzuki and uh, yeah, the Dawson Mercer 80 of 99. Nice little gold, sort of foily refractory parallel there, I like that. And then, of course, our auto, which is always nice to hit. Jacob Bryson, not the world's most amazing rookie, but uh, still a rookie autograph nonetheless. Uh, and we'll happy, happily take that considering that autos are not guaranteed. So, there we go. So, all right, so that's our National Hockey Day video, uh, day late because that's how things work in my life. Editing time is fleeting, unedited videos, it's not my style. So, there you go. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, Wednesday, uh, hopefully, I can get it done. Wednesday, I'll try. Is uh, SPA coming out finally 2021 22 SPA? So, it's another 21 22 product, not one of the last ones. But uh, one of the most important ones as far as the hobby is concerned coming out. So I'll definitely look for look for the review on that. And as always, I uh, hope you had a good National Hockey Card Day. Hope you got pulled some good stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.